mercy because he lives today. Would we be here if it wasn't for that? That was my prayer this morning to the Lord. I said, Lord, we wouldn't be here if you didn't send your son. What would be the name? What would be the cause that even proclaimed that this morning? He sent his son. And this is his church. And these are the elders that have been ordained. And the teachers are out there have been ordained. He set the church up, brothers and sisters. And this is his church. We're proud to be in his church. This is the church of Jesus Christ. No other name. No other name. Uh, <laughs> Sister Maria. <laughs> no, no, Mother Michael. Do you have a Number six in the Saints hymnals. Yeah. Longing for the gathering. Longing for the gathering. You know, when we meet each other from time to time, I think if that isn't love, if that isn't love, we show each other love because we hug each other. And why? Because God loves us. And he hugged us. He hugged us at the river shore. He's going to hug us in person when we meet him face to face. And oh, what a joy. What a joy. 
I am on fire this morning for the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he's real. He's not a figment of our imagination. I know that you've prayed to him. I know Sister Mary's prayed to him. I brother Reuben's prayed to him. I prayed to him. Brother Juan prays to him daily. He's real, brothers and sisters. Amen. Long me for the gathering. One seventy seven, Brother Michael. Oh, God, our church. 
afternoon. Buenas tardes. I can't begin to tell you how pleased I am to be here. No les puedo comenzar a decir lo, el gusto que tengo de estar aquí. It, it's home. Es mi hogar. And uh, I love, I love all of you. Los amo a todos. And it just touches my soul to see you again. Y me toca el alma de verlos de nuevo. And I was afraid I wasn't going to see Sister Mary, so I, 
I'm so thrilled that she was able to get here. Estaba preocupado que no me iba a ver a mí. So, wow. What wow. we've seen already today. Llevamos, ha pasado ya en este día. But I pray that my message, which I believe is clearly related to what we saw today. Espero que la predicación que les voy a dar va a ser en lo que pasó en esta mañana. I hope it touches your heart. Espero que les toque su corazón. No matter where you are spiritually. No importa donde usted esté espiritualmente. And I hope you share it with others who need the Lord. Y que ustedes lo puedan compartir con otras personas que necesitan al Señor. But can I tell you a quick story before I get started? Pero puedo decirles un cuento antes de comenzar. Just so, just so you know that Brother Joe has come back. <laughs> okay. Además para que sepan que ya regresó hermano Joe. A few weeks ago, I had to go to the post office in Florida. Unas semanas atrás tuve que ir a la oficina postal en Florida. And this post office only has like four parking spots. Y en este lugar además tiene cuatro lugares para parquear los automóviles. And they're always filled, always. Y siempre están ocupados. So I said, you know, Lord, I believe I can pray to you for anything. Y le dije, Señor, yo sé que yo puedo orar y pedirte cualquier cosa a cualquier hora. I, saw, I said, Lord, get me a parking spot. <laughs> Señor, dame un sitio para parquear. So I pull up to the post office. Y llego a la, donde están las cartas. There's not a single car in the parking spot. All four are open. No, hay ni un carro. Los cuatro lugares están vacíos. I said, God, you are so amazing. Le dije, Dios, eres tan bueno. And then I walked up to the door. Llegué a la puerta. And it was locked. <laughs> it, was, la, it was Columbus Day and a holiday. <laughs> la puerta estaba trancada porque era el día de fiesta, era el día de Columbus. And I, I burst out laughing. I said, Lord, this is probably is the first time I've ever praised you for something you didn't do. Y me dio risa y le dije al Señor, Señor, es la primera vez que te doy gracias por algo que de veras no necesitaba. But I quickly realized. Pero I, rápido y reconocí. I said, Lord, there's probably been how many thousands, if not millions of time, times where you did something for me and I didn't praise you. Y I did not praise you. Cuántas veces han pasado millones y millones de cosas que tú me has dado a uh, bendiciones y ni, ni una de esas veces te ha dado el, a la gloria que mereces. God blesses, blesses us every single day. El Señor nos bendice cada día. In a hundred or thousand ways. En mil, en cien o mil uh, diferentes cosas. And we need to be constantly praising his high and holy name. Y debemos siempre estar alabándolo en su nombre santo. And the next day I went to the back to the post office. El siguiente reg día regresé a la oficina postal. And I got the closest spot to the door wide open for me. <laughs> so, y encontré el lugar más cerquita de la puerta que estaba abierto. Our God will bless us in anything and everything. Nuestro Dios nos bendice en cualquier cosa. Now, today's, today's message. El mensaje de hoy. It's, it's incredible, and my guess is most of you do not know it. Es increíble, y pienso que la mayor, mayoría de ustedes no lo saben. And it's a story of a person and how they changed. Es una historia de una persona y cómo cambió. And you've, you probably have heard the term going from like sinner to saint. Uh, yo creo han escuchado la frase que dice, ha ido de pecador a santo. But I'm going to add a little twist to that for the theme of today's sermon. Pero yo le voy a cambiar un poquito. Sinner to hero. Voy a comenzar con uh, pecador a héroe. And if you want another, another theme. Otro tema. Scarlet to scarlet. Think about de, that one. De you, rojo a rojo. Let me read just a few verses. This is this story. I'm going to give you a little background uh, as, our, as they try to find these verses here. Is it, it is Joshua, the book of Joshua in the Old Testament, the second, I'm going to start in the second chapter. There's a lot, of, lot to read. I'm not going to read a lot. I'm just going to tell you a lot so you don't, I don't have to read all the verses. But Joshua, uh, Joshua, the second chapter. 
es Josué, capítulo 2. Hay muchos versículos, pero más o menos les voy a contar la historia. And to give you a little background and make sure you understand where we are when the story begins. Les quiero decir un poquito de qué está pasando para antes de comenzar esta historia. This is part of the famous story that you probably know about Israel leaving Egypt and going to the promised land. Y esta es parte de la gran historia de cuando los israelitas salieron de Egipto. The story of Moses leading the people out of, his, out of Egypt, crossing the Red Sea. Cuando Moisés dirigió a la gente de Israel fuera de Egipto y cruzaron en la Mar Rojo. And as you also probably know, they, no me... they, they could have taken that trip in something like two weeks. Y como muchos ustedes saben, podían haber hecho este viaje en por lo menos dos semanas. But because they didn't follow God, they pero, disobeyed God. Pero porque no siguieron a Dios y fueron desobedientes. He let them wander for 40 years. Los dejó que caminaran por 40 años. And this story is at the end of the 40 years. Y esta historia es al fin de los 40 años. And they are at, and you know I love this story, but that's not what this is going to be about today. They're at the River Jordan. Y aquí están en el río Jordán. And they're ready to cross over. Están listos para cruzar. But on the other side, the other side of the river is the promised land. Y al otro lado del río está la tierra prometida. And there's also a famous city called Jericho. Y también hay una ciudad muy famosa que se llama Jericho. So let me begin reading. I'm going to read the first three verses of Joshua, the second chapter. Joshua 2. Verses 1 through 3. El hermano va a leer Josué 2, versículos 1 a 3. And I guess I should also mention, in case you don't know this, Moses is no longer with them, and Joshua has become the new leader. Y si yo a esta parte de la historia, Moisés ya no está, Josué es el que se es el líder ahora. And it says, and Joshua the son of Nun sent out two men to spy secretly, saying, go view the land even Jericho. And they went and came into a harlot's house named Rahab and lodged there. So before they cross into the promised land, the whole, all of Israel, that, and different people have different estimates, 500,000, a million people are waiting to cross. And Joshua says, I'm going to send two spies to see what's on the other side. Y antes de cruzar el Jordán, Josué manda dos espías. Hay más de mil personas que tienen que cruzar, pero él nomás manda dos espías a ver cómo está el terreno. And they go to a woman's house named Rahab, who is a sinner, who's not serving God. Let me now read number two and three. It says, and it was told the king of Jericho, behold, saying, behold, there came men in hither tonight of the children of Israel to search out the country. And the king of Jericho sent unto Rahab, saying, bring forth the men that are come to thee, which are entered into thine house, for they become to for they become to search out all the country. So, so he sends these two spies in to check things out, and he goes, they go into Jericho, and apparently, guess what? They were very bad spies. Y él, este, mandó Josué dos espías a que espiaran la tierra, 
y aparentemente mandó dos espías que no eran muy buenos. And I say they were bad because immediately the king, everyone knows they're there. They know they're there, they know whose house they're staying at. So they're not the best spies. Así que les digo que no son los mejores espías porque rápido el, el rey se dio cuenta quién eran ellos y a dónde habían ido. And so the king sends, you know, soldiers, you know, people to go, now go get those two spies, and they go to Rahab's house. Así que el rey manda a los soldados que vayan a la casa de Rahab a, a levantar esos dos espías. Now this woman, who is from Jericho, who is a sinner, when those people come to their, her house, you would think, Oh, the king has sent his men. They want these two strangers who are our enemies. You would think that she would say, here they are. Y porque el rey mandó a, a esta mujer que era una pecadora que vivía en Erico y sabía lo, el poder del rey, pudo decir, pues aquí están. Instead, remarkably, she hides the, 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 the two men and she tells the, the soldiers, they went that away. <laughs> yeah, sí, que they're cuando, not here, they, they're gone. Cuando los soldados preguntaron dónde estaban, ella dijo, sí, aquí estuvieron, pero se fueron por este otro camino. Now, why would she do that? Ahora, ¿por qué ella hizo esto? She had to know my life's in danger for two strangers from another land. If I, if I lie to these men. Y ella pudiera haber pensado, mi vida está en peligro porque estos hombres son enemigos de nosotros. Me puede costar la vida. But after she said, they went that away, and the, and the, arm, and the soldiers leave. They believe her. They go that away. Y así cuando ella les dice, se fueron por ese camino, le creyeron a ella y los persiguieron por ese camino. She goes to the men who had been hiding, and she tells them, something utterly remarkable. Y entonces ella va a los espías y les dice algo maravilloso. And I like to read these verses too because they're so los versículos. amazing. 9, 10, and 11. 9, 10, y 11. 9. So now she's now speak. It says, it says in the ninth verse, and she said unto the men, these are the spies, I know that the Lord has given you the land and your terror is fallen upon us. Another way of saying that is the fear of you has fallen upon us, people here in Jericho. It's falling upon us. And that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. So, Sister Lily. Hey. Hey. Mm -hmm. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea. She had heard the story for, for you when you came out of Egypt and what you did unto the two kings, uh, the Amorites that were on the other side of Jordan, Sihon and Og, whom ye utterly destroyed. And as soon as we had heard these things, our hearts did melt, neither, neither, did there remain any more courage in any man because of you? For the Lord, your God, he is God in heaven above and in earth beneath. Amen. So this pagan woman Así que esta mujer pagana, lived in a land with pagan gods vivía en un, una tierra que estaba lleno de 
dioses paganos. But she recognized who the real God is. Pero ella reconoció quién era el verdadero Dios. She knew her God couldn't part the Red Sea. <laughs> ella sabía que su Dios no podía abrir el Mar Rojo. She knew that her people with her God couldn't defeat all these enemies and utterly destroy them. Y ella sabía que los dioses de ella no podían uh, hacer afuera todos los gentes que habían destruido los israelitas. The people in her land, their hearts had melted because of fear. Y los corazones de esta gente se revirtieron de miedo. Now let me ask you. Ahora les quiero preguntar a ustedes. If this woman believed in God this much. Si esta mujer creyó tanto en Dios. What about you? ¿Qué de, ¿Cómo vas a creer tú? What about you? ¿Qué vas a hacer tú? She didn't have the advantage of going to church. <laughs> Ella no tuvo el privilegio de ir a la iglesia. That believed in Jesus Christ. Que creía en Jesucristo. She didn't have the advantage of reading the word of God or hearing the word of God. No tenía el ventaje de saber la palabra de Dios ni de escuchar la palabra de Dios. Yet she or believed so firmly. Pero ella creyó tan firmemente. That she chose the side of these strangers because she already recognized their God is the real deal. Y ella de defendió a los dos espías porque ella supo que el Dios que ellos uh, tenían era el Dios real. If she believed that, shouldn't we believe it all the more? Si ella pudo creer esto, no debemos nosotros creerlo más. She risked her life to the faith in a God she knew nothing about. Ella pudo ser su, sacrificar su, su vida por un Dios que ella no conocía. Other than she'd heard about his miracles. Lo único que ella sabía era que había escuchado los milagros que él había hecho. Have you heard about those miracles? ¿Usted ha escuchado de esos milagros? Those and many, 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 many more. Esos y muchos, muchos más. We're in a church of miracles. Somos una iglesia de milagros. Amen. Digan amen. 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I love it. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So again, I know there's a lot here. So make this go a little faster. Ahora les va a ir un poquito más rápido. She says to these two spies, Ella le dice a estos espías, summarizing, I've done this good thing for you. Would you do something good for me? Les dijo, yo hice algo bueno para ustedes. ¿Pueden ustedes hacer algo bueno para mí? Would you protect me and my family? ¿Pueden ustedes protegerme a mí y mi familia? And the two spies, the two men of Israel say, yes. Y los dos espías de Israel le dijeron sí. And so she says, I'm going to help you now escape. Y ahora les voy a ayudar para que se escapen. And she lived, her home was on the wall of Jericho. Y ella vivía en la pared de Jericho. And it says in the 18th verse, can we look at the 18th verse? En el versículo 18. They put down a line, a rope. And these men were going to, going to go down this line, uh, down the side of the wall to escape. Ahora, los espías iban a bajar por este uh, parte que los puso contra la pared. But as they're leaving, they say in the 18th verse, they say to her now, Behold, when we come, when Israel, when we cross the Jordan, when we come into this land, thou shalt bind this line of scarlet, the scarlet thread in the window which thou didst let us down by and thou shalt bring thy father and thy mother and thy brethren and all of thy father's household household home unto thee sister willie Now, brothers and sisters, this could just be a fluke, that it was a scarlet lifeline. Esto puede ser algo que no era uh, 
Algo que iba, de veras iba a pasar de que un cordón you know, rojo. A, scar, a scarlet rope or a scarlet thread. Que un cordón rojo. But I'd like to suggest this was symbolic. Pero yo quiero decir, pensar, decirles que esto era simbólico. It represented freedom. Representaba la libertad. Salvation. Salvación. Because again, these people had just come from Egypt. Otra vez, esta gente apenas estaba saliendo de Egipto. And if you recall, the last plague upon Egypt was that the angel of death was going to pass over. And unless you put the blood of a, a pure lamb, the blood upon your door, covering your door, the lintel of your door, if you did that, the angel of death would pass over. But if you did not, the firstborn of your household would be, would be killed. Así que si recuerdan en la última plaga que les puso Dios a, cuando, a los israelitas, fue que iba a pasar el ángel de la muerte y él les dijo que mataran un cordero y pusieran la sangre al, alrededor de la puerta y los que lo ponían, la, el ángel de la muerte iba a pasar sobre ellos, pero el que no lo hiciera, ahí iba a morir alguien. That blood. That scarlet blood Ese represented sangre. salvation and protection. Esa sangre roja representaba salvación y protección. And what we saw this morning y lo que vimos esta mañana was a different scarlet blood. Era una diferente sangre roja. The blood of Jesus Christ. Era la sangre de Jesucristo. That washed away the sins que, of our dear sister. Que lavó los pecados de nuestra hermana. Blood that makes you white. Sangre que te limpia blanco. Blood that makes you pure. Sangre que te hace pura. The sacrifice of Jesus Christ allowed our sister today to have her name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. El sacrificio que hizo nuestro Señor Jesucristo le dio el privilegio que el, herma, el nombre de nuestra hermana esté en el libro de la vida. And not just her, anyone who will claim it, who believes it, who wants to be washed clean by the scarlet blood of Jesus that makes us white. No nomás nuestra hermana, pero para cualquier persona que tenga ese deseo, que pueda ser limpiado por la sangre de Dios y ser limpio y puro. She went from an, a different scarlet to a new scarlet. Fue de un, una cosa roja a otra roja. And that line now protected those spies who escaped. Y así como that es, scarlet rope. Así como esa línea roja que protegió a los espías. And again, to make this fast for time. Me voy a hacer rápido por el tiempo. A few days later, Unos cuantos días después, seven days later, approximately, a, aproximadamente siete días después, after Israel marched around the city of Jericho, después que el ejército de Israel marchó alrededor de las paredes de Jericho, and the, and the final day, seven times around Jericho, el último vez siete veces alrededor del Lugar de Jericho. And you read this in the sixth chapter. I'm not going to read all this in the sixth chapter, but you read about this, the fall of Jericho. After they go around seven times on the seventh day, they let out a shout. Can I hear a shout? Praise God! <laughs> Praise God! Cuando ellos, en el capítulo 6, da el, uh, la historia como tuvieron que dar vuelta uh, siete veces alrededor de la ciudad de Jericho y en un tiempo todos dieron un grito y hermano yo dice gritan alabar a Dios alaben a Dios and the, it's okay <laughs> so, in the 20th verse it says about the shouting the, the wall came tumbling down two verses later guess is the first thing on Joshua's mind en el versículo 20 dice que uh, cayó la, las paredes de Jericho y miren lo que lo primero que se acuerda a Joshua. Go get Rahab and her family. Vayan por Rahab y su familia. 
go get Rahab and her family. This wasn't, <laughs> she had become very important to them. En esa lección, ella vino a ser una, una, una mujer muy importante. She had become a hero Se fue hecha una héroe to Israel. Para Israel. 25th verse of the 6th chapter. El versículo 25 en el capítulo 6. This is so important. Esto es muy importante. Joshua 6.25. They didn't just grab her and say, you're saved, good luck to you. It says, and Joshua saved Rahab the harlot alive and her father's household and all that she had and she dwelled and she dwelleth in Israel even unto this day because she hid the messengers which Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. So they didn't just say, thank you, good luck. No, they said, dijeron, gracias. Buena suerte. You're now one of us. Ahora eres uno de nosotros. You're now in the family of God. Ahora eres parte de la familia de Dios. Here were the chosen people. Aquí estaba la gente escogida. And they said, this woman who believes in our God and is willing to help and work for God, she is now in our family. She's chosen. She's blessed. She is one of us. Así que cuando el, ellos la escogieron, ella fue uh, puesta en la familia de ellos porque ella no siendo israelita los ayudó, creyó en el Señor de, que ella creía y todo fue a, a la onda del Señor. We don't care about her past. No importa su pasado. We don't care her, who her, her parents were, her family were. No importa quién es los padres o familiares de ella. We don't care if she used to be a sinner. No importa que fue pecadora. She wants to serve God. Ella quería servir a Dios. She's a woman of faith. Era una mujer de fe. She's one of us. Es una de nosotros. And let me just tell you, I want to add this. If you, I don't know if you knew that story. Yo but no let me tell you this, which is even less likely that you know. Before I actually want to preach a little more. <laughs> okay, I want to get to my big point here. But I want you to understand the background so you can preach what I said. Let me tell you some amazing things about Rahab after Jericho. Ay, porque quiero predicar un poquito más, les quiero contar algo más de ella, las cosas que ella hizo después de Jericho. And again, please read all these beautiful things tonight, because I don't have time today to read them all to you. Go to the New Testament. Por Go to Hebrews, the 11th chapter. Por favor, lean estas maravillas escrituras y vamos a ir a Hebreos 7. 11. 11. 11. 11. The 11th chapter of Hebrews is such a great chapter. And it's used, a lot of people call it, it's like a list, it's like the Hall of Fame of Faith. Aquí está en este capítulo las personas que están los héroes de la fe. Famous, famous individuals from the scriptures, great men of God. Famosos, famosos personas, hombres de Dios. Guess who else is in there? ¿Quién, quién piensa que también está en este? Guess who's in the Hall of Fame of Faith? ¿Quién está Rahab. En este? Rahab, that's how much God loved her. She's in there with Moses and Jacob and Joseph. It's Rahab. It's found in the, in the 30th and 31st verses. It says, by faith, the walls of Jericho fell down and they were com compassed about for seven days. By faith, the harlot Rahab perished not with them that believed not when she had received the spies with peace. You don't have to read all that, but the bottom line is just repeat that Rahab makes the, the hall of fame of faith. I mean, I mean, lo maravilloso que es que esta mujer Rahab está en la en la, con los famosos héroes de, le, de las escrituras. 
And if that's not amazing enough, Matthew, the first chapter. Y si eso no es interesante, vayan a Mateo, primer capítulo. And again, don't even worry about going there. No But in Matthew, ir. the first chapter, you know, it, it, it tells us the genealogy leading to Jesus Christ. La All gente. the forefathers of Jesus Christ. Toda la gente que vino antes de Jesucristo está la genealogía de él. And what you find y lo que encuentran, in the fifth verse of the first chapter of Matthew is en el capítulo uno, versículo cinco, miren lo que encontramos. Rahab. Rahab. Rahab, this woman who came from Jericho, not only goes and lives among Israel, she marries into Israel, and her son is an important person from the Old Testament. It's Boaz who marries Ruth. Así que esta mujer no lo más era de, participó con los creyentes de Erico, también sale en la vida de, de nuestros uh, antepasados y ella es en la familia de, tiene un hijo que se llama Boaz, el que se casó con Ruth, que es familia you're de so, ella. You're so good. I'm, I'm terrible at this and you're so good. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> So that leads to, and again, not going through all the names, King David, and eventually to Joseph, the father of Jesus, and Jesus Christ. So God allowed this woman with this beginning to become part of the genealogy to Jesus Christ, our Savior. Así que esta mujer que estaba en el Dios la permitió que fuera toda en estas familiares de nuestro que antes de Jesucristo, donde vino David, José y nuestro Señor Jesucristo. And this is the main point I want to make today. Y el punto que quiero hacer hoy es So many people think I can't go to church or I can't join the church of Jesus Christ. I'm not good enough. Mucha gente dice yo no puedo ir a la iglesia de Jesucristo yo no puedo participar porque soy una mala persona I'm a sinner soy un pecador I've done bad things ha hecho malas cosas our God is a God who doesn't look backwards but he looks forwards nuestro Dios es un Dios que no mira para atrás mira para adelante he's a God of new starts él es el padre de Comienzos nuevos. New beginnings. Comienzos nuevos. The devil wants to hold you where you are. El diablo quiere detenerte donde estás. But this story should prove you God can use anybody. Pero con esta historia puede proveer que Dios puede usar a cualquier persona. No matter where you are in life. No importa en qué parte estés en tu vida. You can go from a sinner Puedes ir de un pecador to a spiritual hero. A ser un héroe espiritual. I believe Sister Evelyn is going to become a spiritual hero. Yo, yo creo que la hermana Evelyn va a ser una uh, espiritual I, I, héroe. I truly Amen. believe it. Amen? Amen. Already. Hermana Kim <laughs> dice, ya, ya lo está haciendo. All of us can be spiritual heroes. Todos podemos ser héroes espirituales. If you don't like where you are, si no te gusta donde estás, God offers you a whole new path. Dios te tiene, puede enseñar otro camino. He can forgive anything Él puede, and anybody. Puede perdonar cualquier cosa y a cualquier persona. If you open your heart to him. Si usted le abre su corazón a Él. He wants to give you a new beginning. And most importantly, a new ending. Y, pero más un, un, un fin mejor. God bless you all. I love you. Que el Señor los and, bendiga, I love, los amo. and I love this translator. God bless you. <laughs> When I first read this story that Brother Joe related to us,
la primera vez que leí esta historia que nos predicó hermano Joe. I thought about how did they hear about the story of crossing the Red Sea? Me, pregun me pregunté cómo ellos supieron de la historia cuando se abrió el, el mar rojo. Because it said they knew. Porque dice ellos sabían. That they heard. Ellos escucharon. I mean, these people wandered the desert, what, 40 years? Esta gente caminó por el desierto 40 años. But yet the story went on to others. Pero como quiera, esta historia fue a otros. And it says in verse 10, it says again, for we have heard. En versículo 10 dice, hemos escuchado. It says, how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you. Como el Señor secó el agua del mar para ustedes. They heard the story. Escucharon la historia. They listened to the story. Escucharon la historia. How can somebody, how can some being open up the waters? ¿Cómo puede ser que alguien pueda abrir las aguas en esa forma? How is it that the Red Sea was opened up? ¿Cómo fue que se abrió, abrieron las aguas del Mar Rojo? Impossible. Imposible. They couldn't believe it. Ellos no lo podían creer. But they heard the story. Pero escucharon la historia. And the story went from one person to the next person to the next person. Y la historia fue de una persona a otra persona a otra persona. And I'm thinking as they're telling the story. Y yo estaba pensando mientras estaba escuchando la historia. As they're telling it to others. Como lo están diciendo a otros. People must be thinking, how is this possible? La gente está diciendo, ¿cómo es esto posible? The sea, the Red Sea is parted and they crossed over dry land. ¿Cómo es posible que la, el mar rojo lo pudieran abrir y pasar ellos en tierra seca? Dry land. Tierra seca. Today, Brother Ruben. Hoy, hermano Ruben. Went to go put the stick out in, the, in Lake Arlington. Fue a poner el palo en las aguas de Lake Arlington. And if you watch them walking. Y si lo vieron caminar. You see every now and then he gets stuck and he take another step and he gets stuck and take another step. Que se le es tenía el pie muy fondo y tenía que sacarlo y seguir caminando. Today, Sister Evelyn and Brother Jerry made that same walk to meet Brother Ruben out there. Es que hermano Jerry y hermana también caminaron ese camino hoy. Was the ground underneath the water dry? La tierra estaba seca <laughs> abajo. Dice que no. Very muddy, very sticky. Muy soquetoso, muy pecajoso. So again, how could it be dry? Otra vez, ¿cómo puede ser que estaba seca? God moves the parts of the waters and now the, the dirt is dry, the mud is dry. ¿Cómo puede ser que Dios abrió el mar y la tierra está seca, muy seca? Because God is God, that's why. Porque Dios es Dios, por eso. And they believed. Y ellos creyeron. They believed what they heard. Creyeron lo que escucharon. They must have heard from Egypt about all these people left. A lo mejor lo escucharon de la gente que quedó en Egipto. That they left, they were able to get out, they were, they were, they were free. A los que pudieron salir de este, estas cosas y eran libres. And again, that as the chariots were going down to attack them, to get back to them, because the Pharaoh wanted to, wanted to bring them back, the waters were closed and they all drowned. Y cuando los carros del, del faraeo querían salirse, no podían salirse, la agua se los uh, ahogó. They drowned in the water. Todos se ahogaron en el agua. These armies of Pharaoh, they all drowned. Y eran los ejércitos del de faraón y todos se ahogaron. And I'm thinking, they have probably heard that part of the story too. Y yo pienso que también escucharon esa parte de la historia. Your God is so powerful. Your God is so powerful for you, Joshua, that he not only dried the, dried the uh, uh, parted the, the waters and dried the ground across, but he also took care of your enemy. Y Josué, tu Dios es tan grande y maravilloso que no nomás secó la, uh, la tierra para que tuviera seca, pero también uh, de, uh, le dio, uh, destruyó tus enemigos. Destroyed the enemy so you didn't have to worry. Te destruyó los enemigos para que tú no tuvieras que apurarte. You could continue on your journey. Podías continuar en tu viaje. Didn't have to run. You could just walk and continue your journey. No tuviste que correr, no más caminar y seguir tu camino. So Rahab and others heard the story. 
Así que Raab y otros escucharon esas historias. What stories have you heard from us? ¿Cuáles historias ustedes han escuchado de nosotros? What stories have you heard from the other brothers and sisters in this congregation over the years? ¿Cuántas historias han escuchado ustedes de otros miembros de esta iglesia? About how the doctor said, you can't be cured, you're sick, there's nothing we can do for you. ¿Han escuchado que un doctor le dice, no hay nada que podemos hacer para usted, no hay remedio? But yet what happens? People give their testimony, ministers go and pray, people get on their knees, we fast and pray. What happens? We see healings. ¿Y qué pasa? Nos, nos ponemos de ayuno y oración, llaman a los ministros que oren. ¿Y qué pasa? Oímos en los testimonios que hay alivios, hay milagros. Miracles by God. Milagros por las manos de Dios. Not by man. No por el hombre. Not by the ministers themselves. No por los ministros. But by the power of God, by the power he's bestowed on the ministry. Pero por el poder de Dios, el poder que el Señor le ha dado a los ministros. We talked about this recently, Brother Marcos Vallejo. Había, hablamos a, antes de el hermano Marcos Vallejo. He was told he had incurable cancer, but he told the doctor, incurable for you, but not for my God. Los doctores le dijeron que él tenía cáncer incurable y él dijo para ustedes es incurable pero para mi Dios no es. And what happened? He was healed. ¿Y qué pasó? Él fue eh, lo, a saludar. Le dio su salud. Do you believe? ¿Usted cree? Do you believe? ¿Usted cree? Do you believe? ¿Usted cree? God is good. Dios es bueno. He takes care of us. Él nos cuida. He watches over us. Él está sobre nosotros. What is your need today? ¿Cuál es su necesidad hoy? What is it that you're asking God to take care of for you? ¿Qué es lo que le estás pidiendo al Señor que te ayude? Is it for a job? ¿Es por un trabajo? Is it for a better job? ¿Es para un trabajo mejor? Is it for a better relationship with God? ¿Para tener una mejor relación con, con Dios? To, to, uh, 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 to resolve a, a bad relationship to make it better or to take you out of a bad relationship and put you on a better path? What is it you're asking of God? Estás pidiendo que te resuelve una relación que tienes con una persona o que se des, desquite esta relación. ¿De qué es lo que tú le estás pidiendo a Dios este día? Are you asking God to hear your prayer? Estás diciendo a Dios que escuche tu oración. Do you believe he hears your prayer? ¿Cree usted que él escucha su oración? I hope you do because I have heard your testimonies week after week, year after year, of what God has done for you. Yo espero que ustedes sí es, es, escuchen esto porque vez tras vez ha escuchado sus testimonios de las cosas que el Señor ha hecho. There are times that I've seen some of us go through some tough situations in our lives. Ha visto muchos de nosotros que hemos pasado por unas situaciones muy increíbles. And we wonder what's going on. Y pensamos, ¿qué es lo que está pasando? Lord, do you not hear me? Señor, ¿no me escuchas? He does. Pero sí. And he hears us and he takes care of us. Y sí escucha y nos cuida. And he saves us. Y nos salva. He saves us of our situation. Nos salva de nuestra situación. He takes care of us no matter what. Nos cuida, no importa lo que sea. It doesn't matter what the situation is. No importa que sea la situación. When you take it to God, he provides. Cuando tú lo llevas a Dios, él provee. Has he answered your prayers in the past? Yes. Él ha contestado tus oraciones en el pasado. Sí. He's answered, and when he's answered, you've told others about it. Y cuando él ha contestado... Ustedes les han dicho a otros de esto. And of those others said to you, we've heard? Y otros les han dicho, es, nosotros escuchamos. Did they answer like Rahab, we've heard the story? Es, contestaron como Rahab, hemos escuchado la historia. Give your testimony. De su testimonio. Don't be ashamed. No tenga vergüenza. When your co-workers, you're nervous, say, how did that happen? How did you get out of that situation? Con lo que trabajas te dicen, ¿cómo pasó? ¿Cómo pasaste esa situación? God brought me through it. Dios me, me sacó adelante. That's the response. You tell them, God brought me through it. 
es la respuesta que debemos de dar. Dios me sacó de esto. And tell them right there and then. Y tell diles, them to their face. Diles en ese punto en su cara. As lovely as you can. Con mucho cariño. Do you believe me? Me crees? Hopefully they'll say yes. Ojalá que digan que sí. Some of them won't. Muchos no. But then something else is going to happen. Pero algo más va a pasar. Something's going to happen to you. Algo te va a pasar a ti. Or one of your loved ones. O a los que tú amas. And then you're going to pray. Y vas a orar. And God's going to hear. Y Dios va a escuchar. And God's going to come to the rescue. Y Dios va a venir a rescatarte. And you need to tell others about that. Y usted debe de decirle a otros de esto. How God provided. Como Dios proveo. How he protected. Como protegió. How he removed that bad situation out of your life. Como sac lo sacó de esa situación. How he healed your heart. Como alivió su corazón. That broken heart you had. Ese corazón quebrantado que tenía. Broken heart from broken relationships, broken situations, broken things that happened in the past that you thought could never be healed. Con un corazón quebrantante que ha que pasó con relación o con otras cosas que han pasado en tu vida que piensas que nunca pueden ser quitadas. But what happened? Pero ¿qué pasó? You heard about God. Escuchaste de Dios. You heard the story. Escuchaste la historia. You heard the testimonies. Escuchaste los testimonios. And you said, I, I want to know more. Y dijiste, yo quiero saber más. You said, come to church. Ven a la iglesia. Maybe you picked them up. A lo mejor usted lo trajo. Maybe you knocked on the door. A lo mejor usted le tocó la puerta. And you said, let me tell you about God. Deja decirte de Dios. And you said to yourself. Y te dijiste a ti mismo. Nothing else has worked. Might as well try this. Nada más ha tenido resultado. Voy a tratar esto. You said, might as well try it. Vale más a ver si esto tiene resultado. And you tried it. Y lo tratas. And you liked it. Y te gustó. You enjoyed it. Y te dio gusto. You got happy. Y te pusiste contento. You got joyful. Y te pusiste con mucho gozo. And you went to somebody else. Y fuiste a otra persona. And you told them about it. Y le dijiste a ellos también. And they came. Y ellos vinieron. And how did you feel? Y cómo te sentiste? You felt joyful that somebody that you knew came to church. Te dio gozo de que alguien que tú conoces vino a la iglesia. Or maybe somebody you didn't know came to church. O a lo mejor alguien que no conoces vino a la iglesia. You told them your testimony. Y le diste tu testimonio. And you gave them hope. Y les diste esperanza. We need to give hope to these people today. Necesitamos darle esperanza a esta gente hoy. In today's world. But because of God. Pero por Dios. And because of the children of God, y por los hijos de Dios, they keep testifying que siguen dando testimonio, and keep standing on God's promises y siguen par parándose en las promesas de Dios, and keep telling others about it. Y siguen diciéndole a la a otra gente de esto, they believe, they come, they receive. Ellos creen, vienen y reciben. We've received. Nosotros recibimos. We need to be thankful. Debemos de dar gracias. Thankful for everything he does for us. Debemos de tener gratitud por todo lo que él hace para nosotros. Take it all to God. Llévaselo todo a Dios. And he will provide. Y él va a proveer. God bless you. Que el Señor los bendiga.